And again, uh, we have to say that we have cash out today too. So we'll be cashing out. Make sure that you have um, these numbers in mind. Star four, three, nine, hash. Star four, three, nine, hash. You connect it to your mobile money. Once you dial it, you get a range of options of all the media general subsidiaries, TV3, 3FM, we have Onya FM, Onya TV, and then we have Connect FM, and then as, as well, we have Akuma FM. And uh, Bella, 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 good morning. Good morning. Uh, yeah, you uh, have you tried it? No, I'm going to try it today. Yeah. At this point, so, the way the economy is going, be yeah. like... But, but supposing you try it and then... Um, we do the drawing, your number comes up. People will think that it's fake. Just no, they won't because it's random. It's random. I mean, nobody yes, controls I know, the but, machine. So. But just worried that you are going to win free money. It, it won't be free necessarily because <laughs> I play the game. So I hope I win. Yeah, I'm yeah, looking yeah, for yeah. the way the economy is going. Well, I, I, I did try the first You time. must win. Oh, I did, did you win? The, no, I didn't. Oh, okay. Didn't. The way my number is now, I'm sure that when they, they, they do the is, scrambling, it won't pick. It's your house which is. They just because sat on your number. They didn't want your, your number to appear. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe but, you would be lucky, so make know, sure you play know, the game. Right. I, I, and I know that you've been going through the numbers as they come. Mm. And then also um, what it is that the finance minister has been telling us. Um, he's been saying that he hasn't revised uh, in terms of asking for supplementary for more money, etc. Yeah. But... Uh, what has been done is to revise what the target was to 1.5 from 2.8. 2 yeah. I think that in itself is an admission that it, it cannot mean that we're fully on a path to recovery. Hmm. But rather, we should be cautiously optimistic, I, I think. But if he says we've turned the corner, what mm. does that mean? Because then that means that... We're out well, of the woods. Exactly, yes. which is not exactly Ideally. the situation at the moment. I mean, if you listen to... You know, the people on the ground who are actually doing business, their concern is, at least at this point, we're hoping that some of the taxes and the levies would have been scrapped to a large extent. That was not done. I mean, it looks like there's a lot more burden on us. And we're told by COPEC that as of today, fewer prices are even going to increase. And so what are we doing to cushion the regular Daniel? And at this point, it doesn't look like there's any form of cushioning at all, which is why, um, you know, the business people are not too happy about it. Looking at the losses that Bank of Ghana is also making and declaring yeah. as well. Where are we headed as a nation? I'm not sure we're told exactly mm. what the real situation on the ground is. Telling us that we've turned the corner, unfortunately, is not exactly the real situation on the ground. Mm. You know? Yesterday, I did speak to a former lecturer of mine at the University of Ghana Business mm. School, and he, and he did tell, tell me confidentially that Ghana and its allied institutions, the quasi institutions we have, <laughs> especially the Bank of Ghana, mm, government itself, by way of the way it does its appropriations mm. and subsequently what the expenditure is. We're living like we are Arabian kings. Mm. Uh, that level of austerity that we needed it doesn't seem to be there. And I think that it's important that you brought in the Bank of Ghana issue. Um, for example, if you look at what is spent on foreign and domestic travels, even just maintenance of motor vehicles and how they are run, it is quite frightening, Bella. Yeah, very, it very is. frightening. It is. It um, is. For domestic and foreign travels, 97 million spent. 131 spent on maintenance of vehicles, you know, the, like vehicles. I know mm. that we, they drive Porsche cars and all those things, but if you look at the losses they are posting in their 2022 annual, annual report, and then you look at what the perspectives are, I think the central bank should be doing better. What do you think? I mean, <clears throat> it's, it's a tough one. I won't lie to you. I'm, I'm also very much surprised if you look at the numbers from the previous year and how we've jumped to the numbers that we're recording mm -hmm. um, in the current year. For me, that is where the, the issue is and the fact that even at this time when things are very dire, that's even when we're spending a lot more on travel and a lot more on, you know, motor vehicle maintenance, etc. So are we really doing what we ought to do as a nation to cut down and cut back on our expenditure. It doesn't look that way. And, you know, constantly we're told that we should find a way to also cut down on our expenditure and lower, what do they say, the pockets, something about the pockets, I've forgotten that term. But if we're being told to do that, and yes, the institutions that are supposed to make sure that we are cushioned to a large extent are not doing the same, then that's where the challenge is. Mm. They are not ready, yeah, clearly, certainly. from, from what I, I, I think the mantra that the finance minister keeps saying, alongside the Bible quotes, 
that he always mm. comes up with, um, the phrase burden sharing. I don't think that many of these yeah. individuals who occupy some of these big offices and manage some of these big institutions, uh, I think go with that same mantra, burden sharing. Mm. Because these are some of the things that do um, a lot of damage to government perception and the way people perceive government to be performing, yeah. even though it may not be true. But, you know, everything feeds into the perception of what the ordinary Ghanaian thinks. Mm. I think that's where we have to open the phone lines in and also ask you what you think in, in the segment this morning, Bella. Yeah. So, call us. The numbers should be on your screens at this point. Yes, they are. Let us know what you make of the Finance Minister's Media Budget Review uh, presentation yesterday on the floor of Parliament. Do you actually think that we have turned the corner, like the Minister said, or are we still in the doldrums? If that's the case, what is the way forward? Please call us. Share with us. Let us hear from you Shani from Wale Wale is our first caller for this morning. Good morning, how are you? Shani, good morning. Hello, good morning. Thank you for joining us on TV3 New Day. How are you doing? Oh, I'm fine. My name is Shani from Wale Wale. All right. Well, we got that. Thank you very much. So what do you make of the Finance Minister's budget review yesterday? I think that uh, it did not meet uh, my expectation. Uh, for that matter, the expectation of the people of Wali Wali, in particular, and that of the North, North East region at large. Mm. Um, as, a, as a worker, I was uh, expecting that the minister would give us, in fact, clear guidelines as, as to how you address our concerns. You know, in, uh, interest rates are very high in this country. Mm. Petroleum prices are skyrocketing. Okay, Infl inflation is about 42, in fact, which is unprecedented in the history of this country. So one was expecting the finance minister, in fact, to tell us the practical measure that he's putting in place to reduce inflation. In fact, we didn't hear anything uh, about that. Okay, mm -hmm. and you know the fuel prices is about 12 uh, to 40 a liter, which is too high. So as a worker, we find it difficult to go to uh, our workplaces, okay? So one was expecting him to tell us practical measures. But you know that the minister, as usual, will come and give us Bible quotations and all these things. And he has been giving these things, the quotations, all this while. And yet our problems have not been resolved. So you should leave the quotation to the pastors. That is not why we put him there. We put him there to I mean, manage our economy, but he has failed woefully. So, and I, I don't blame you, I blame our president, because the whole of Ghana are saying that finance minister has to go. <laughs> Members of parliament say that he should go, but the president says and allow him to be there. And you know, the voice of the people is the voice of God. So if God is telling President Akufo to do that, he should remove the finance minister and he keeps him there. So that is where, that is why we are having this kind of I mean, challenges. And I, I think that if he is not being removed, 2024 is going to be worse off. Thank you very much. Thank you for calling, Shani. And you can also call as well and let us know what your thoughts are on the media budget review that took place on the floor of Parliament yesterday, presented by the Finance Minister. Shani thinks that if the Finance Minister had been taken out of office at the time when the majority and the minority, and in fact, Ghanaians were asking, we probably would not have performed this abysmally at this point. Do you agree? Well, I think so too. Mm. Um, it's... What, what is quite baffling is the position of the majority side now. Even mm. those individuals, 97, 98 MPs who initially uh, had that position, who seem now to have shifted that position. Mm. Because the reality is that sometimes you need to give a certain level of confidence to individual players within the domestic as well as the international market. Mm. And you see the right person who is going to give that sort of confidence. If, let's say, somebody wants to invest some um, large sums of yeah. millions of dollars in Ghana, will that person look at the perspective, the projections, and say, if I put if my I money in Ghana this, in the yeah. next 10 years, these are going to be my returns. And hmm. those are some of the things that people look at uh, when they want to do some of those exactly. investment decisions. Well, Faisal, good morning to you. Good morning, my dear. Thank you for... Morning. The morning is not bad. I mean, it could be better, but... We I mean, God is in control. Talk to us. What do you make of the media budget review yesterday? Well, uh, for me, I'm okay because they have not increased any tax again. Mm. But, before I, uh, but before I say that, to be frank, uh, uh, the, the, the perception out there is that 
TV3 is more or less a, a, pro, a NDC station. I don't know whether TV3 is NDC station or it's an independent TV. We are an independent institution. Then you people have to do something about it because it's like the perception out there is that TV3 always attack the government of the day. Mm. They don't say, even if the government do, some, do, something, do something good about, uh, do something good for this, this country, they will not say anything about it. They always condemn it. So you people have to do something about it because it is not helping you. Okay. We are grateful for that. Is that all you have to say about the media budget review, by the way? Yeah, I'm impressed with the budget because they have not added any tax. Oh, that's the reason. Well, do you have expected, because there, you know, there are some business people who say that they expected some taxes to be taken off. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. No, I don't expect any tax to be taken off because of the challenges that we have gone through because of the mm. COVID-19, uh, Russia, Ukraine war that mm. the government was complaining. So I don't expect any tax reduction. Mm. But, I mean, if you talk about media general and, of course, what you think may be the perception out there, do we not discuss the issues that Ghanaians want to hear us discuss? I think uh, yesterday, most of the people I interacted with are, are saying they are very impressed because they have not added any, any tax. Mm. Okay, all right. Well, thank you so much for speaking to us, Faisal. I'm not sure he got the final question, but we'll leave it there. But as much as possible, we are as independent as possible, and we speak um, to facts in most cases. And so that is why um, you would hear us talk about some of these issues. If it does not affect you, then maybe for you, things are much better. Maybe for you, you're like Faisal, who says that he's happy because no taxes were introduced. But if you're also on the other side and you think that some taxes should have been scrapped and they were not, and as a result, you are quite disappointed in the media budget review, you can also speak to us. Let us know. All sides are welcome. Robert from Boga. Hello. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, madam. Thank you for joining us. Um, Hi, so, good morning. Yes, good morning. I hope you're well. We are so well. All right. Please go ahead. Tell us what you make of the media budget review yesterday. Uh, in fact, just like the first caller call before the last caller. In fact, I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy. Actually, it didn't meet, it didn't meet my, my expectation because, I don't know, some of us, we are quite, we're kind of drivers. Mm. And the way the fuel is going high and low, I don't know. That is be stable for uh, just for one month or two months. We are struggling. Mm. When you get to the market, uh, everything is very, very expensive. You can't even buy. And uh, I don't know, sometimes, I don't know, our big man, I don't know, sometimes it will get a time, I don't know, we can't have problems, you see a problem with them. Like mm. they, you can't even buy. Like I buy almost one point something, it will not even take me out of my day, it will finish. So I was expecting that those things should have solved from him. Mm. And things are so expensive, and every day keep on talking and talking, then it was, our problems are not solved. And I don't think that is the best way. I'm not happy with it. Mm. I'm not, I just watched it yesterday up to the end, thinking that things like that would have solved for us. We are still going to here, I don't know. So, so what, you so are hoping that, that are, you are hoping that our fuel prices will go down? That is it. And it will help us. If we come down, the, all the other prices will come down. We are still, we are in the rainy season. So I think things are so high like that. What? Mm. Is it? Mm. But you know, Copec had already announced even before the budget review that fuel prices were going to go up by some nine percent from today. Oh, that is that is that is too bad. That is too bad. And the light, too. the light mm. is very expensive. You buy the light when you go there to buy. Everybody is always complaining. Mm. Uh, it's not the best. We are struggling. All right. All right. Well, thank you thank so you much. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Thank you. And he says we are struggling. Indeed, many Ghanaians are struggling at this mm. point. And a lot of people would have hoped that prices would have been reduced to a large extent. Well, I, I think that when it comes to the dynamics of um, what the fuel prices are, we have a, a very deregulated market. Yeah. Even though we're told that we have, um, is it good for oil mm. as a policy that is ongoing? And then when the prices started coming down, it was ascribed to that policy. Yeah. We should also know that if you look at the current um, crude rates, Brent crude rate on the commodities market, it's around $73 per barrel. Mm. And at the time that the budget was read back in November, it was pegged for way of revenue from oil to be 88. And so consumers also need to know that um, once the forex is not doing too well, and then we have prices increasing on the international markets, 
it definitely will have to uh, come to us yeah. and we have to pay. Hmm. So, so, so that's the main problem. And that's why it will, it will keep fluctuating. And once we have a deregulated market, once fewer increases, that, pr that pricing would have to be given to us as consumers. It is yeah. it's a very sad reality, but these are some of the bread and butter issues. I think that speak to the opinions and then what the budget is, all, is all, all about. about. Mm. Anyway, let's cross over to Johnny's Bites now. We'll continue after with the big issues. Okay. And of course, when you